Yeah, it's obviously a great trait to have, but also having the ability to now put that behind her, not dwell on it, move on and start afresh in this second game. Seconds. She played very well in the first, Victor and it one comes down to those to subtle Lavo. nuances and who keeps their nerve in that particular situation. In that first game, it was obviously Olivia Fichte that did that slightly better. So it'll be interesting to see how the momentum shifts as we come into this second. And as you pointed out, I think in the last couple of four gamers, it's been Fichte that's taken the first game, yeah. is that correct? So that'll be a, a trend that she'll try and continue. There, the practice it... pays off. <laughs> I thought you a trend that you should stop, seeing as she won the first, lost the next three. <laughs> One left. Well, for Victor, yeah. Depends, it depends who you're talking you're about. looking at it, yeah. yeah. Poor error there. Whole court available. Two left. well played there you can see the idea from Killis trying to lift the ball high beyond the reach of Victor but she just adapted and waiting for the ball one, to come down two. and another area that you can see for the American is when she's taken into the front on the bow she's onto it quickly to play that kind of rapid counter drop forcing Killis to have to try and move quickly again it's been a very good start both players and a response from Naylor. Down. Yeah, it's very good length, appreciated there by Paul Colt. Hand out. Three, one. So his turn to do the cheering. Naylor's obviously Paul's biggest cheerleader. You can always hear her in the crowd. That's his turn to turn to, uh, sorry, return the favour. Oh no, you've got to play that. Victor. It's got to you play that. Clear your shot. I think it's a good decision. This is a little bit soft for me. Decision. Wasn't quite in position to hit a shot. But can she hit the cross? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. By the, time, you know, by the time she gets there and the ball, she's a touch late on that as well for me, Danielle. Yeah, there's some time. There's, little, there's, there's time space. to play. That's a, that's a bit of a soft stroke for me. Very good decision. Yes, that decision overruled. Gillis has four reviews remaining. It's a good Three overall there. Yeah, I agree. Three. Three one. Stayed very close. Well, it, yeah, I thought it was out initially. It just stayed in. That's definitely a stroke. Well, Victor, not Four. questioning that, but this has been a real big turn of events. Nila Hillis playing flawlessly. I think this is a no let ball, it's a long way away. Winning shot, winning shot. Well, I feel that's the wrong explanation, but... She wasn't quite sure where to move there, Victor, but unfortunately the ball was running away. Two, four. The decision is no let. Do you want to appeal? 
It's a little bit late now. It's a little bit late for a review. Player review. Oh dear. Player review, Gillis Watson. No let decision. Yeah, I think this is a bit of an. It's, it's the incorrect call. She's watched the review on the big screen here, Danielle. And no. I don't think she's going to have any joy either because um, you can see the movement, but the, the ball is actually running away from Gillis. And it, does, it wasn't an, any uh, intentional movement. It was just the way the ball was a bit yeah. close to Victor. Yeah, there was yeah no no intent there, absolutely. The ball is actually running away as well. She's gone the wrong. She's taken the wrong line. No lot. She stitched herself. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Ball's in the middle of the court. No let. Decision upheld. Gildas has three reviews remaining. Hand out two four. It's got to hurt a little bit, you know. You watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, then you appeal, and then you still get a no let. Yeah. The forehand drop from Victor out. needs to switch that up a little bit now and because out. I feel that five Hillis two. Is, she's, she's reading that that quick counter drop. She's already set off in anticipation. That's the one thing with Hillis is I find when she plays people who can break her movement and momentum, she doesn't. She is very fit and she is speedy, but she doesn't have that same explosive power that some other players do. So if you can hold her and she can't read where it's going, that's when you can take that physicality out of the match. But Victor, once you know, once Nayla Hillis can get into a rhythm and she can anticipate, that's where her physicality really comes into play and is a strength. Sure. Great length. And there is an example of the athleticism. Six, three. She's onto this very quickly. High racket preparation, giving herself plenty of options. And a brilliant turnaround. For as well as they both played in that first game and were so evenly matched in this second, I'd have to say that Naila Hillis has actually upped her game. She's improved. This is an improvement on the first. She's putting more pace on the ball. She's looking to it, take the ball early, volley it. And, and it's accurate. It is accurate. It's accurate. She's hitting the hitting corners. If you just watch where the ball is landing, she's not allowing Olivia Fichter to spend too much time in the middle of the court. She's having to go into those more extreme areas. Yes, Led. There was contact. Left box, please, six two. Victor's just opening the court up a bit too early. That. That's amazing. She's still in it. Just one bridge too far. Three or four times. Hand out. Olivia Fichter had to try and put the ball away there. Just Three, kept coming back from six. the Belgian. Stroke to Fichter. Six, Miss Gillis, Miss Gillis, please, please, can you listen to me? Miss Gillis, Miss Gillis, please don't talk to me before I've make, have made a decision. Thank you. Four, six.
that's again both players on that left hand side of the court very accurate did you get that one one drop cross-court exchanges from both of these players once again that ball keeps coming back and there's the hold that you were mentioning right, earlier three. on in this game Danielle just a little bit of deception waits for Naylor to commit her movement and then opts for the cross-court flick five six well right when it looked like Hillis was going to run away with this Olivia Victor clawing her way back and I do wonder if there's a couple stops in play there was that review that uh, Hillis lost and that it seems to take in a you know toll mentally. Yep, bit of momentum shift. Still has the lead though at six five. So no need to panic just yet. The error. It was the right shot to play. Hand out. Naila Killis there was completely Seven, stranded. Five. And what a gift. Seven five for the Belgian. Gracious me, she didn't know much about it, but the ball was good. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. How did she do oh, that? Fine. Why this is this is Hillis's point. Why is why did Victor stop? Uh, it could have been down, yeah, it looks down. Player appeal, Gillis on the I need to call. see this again or I need to take a trip to Specsavers. I thought she got this. Initially, I thought she got it, but second time, it looks a bit down. So we are going to take a look at Olivia Victor's pickup earlier in the rally before Tannehill has hit, hit the 10. C1. Looks good. good. Yeah. Good decision of hell. Gillis has re two reviews remaining. What a rally. <laughs> <laughs> Handouts, six, seven. Vicious. Ten out. Eight six. So again, the two point cushion. Thank you. 
Back down. down. That's another error. That's two. At a crucial time Nine, for the American. Six. She's found the 10, and there you see the frustration. She's managed to regroup here, Nayla Killis. It was quite troubling keeping your focus with everything that was going on a few rallies ago, but she's got that three-point lead back. Two points away from levelling up here. Going back just some straight play. Spectre Center, Bridget, train on Olivia Victor. Yes, yeah, good shot out. Slightly inaccurate from Eight, Achilles here. But good balance and good control of the racket head from Victor there. Kept the face nice and open through the ball. Back to within one. Huge rally here. Just from a psychological standpoint, if she can get back to 9 all, I think that will give the American a huge boost. The one thing that I enjoy about Olivia Victor is you can always see her nodding her head, giving herself some positive reinforcement, and you know, she's not one to get too discouraged or down, and it's clearly paying off. Big Nine. Right there. Oh. Forehand drop again, though, Daniel, isn't it? You can tell that that's been something that's on the game plan. Nine all. In the game plan, that grooved. Yeah. Misjudging that Ten a little nine. bit, the ball came into the back of the court. Well, it's a game ball for Nate Achilles. I think we'll see quite a reaction from the Belgian if she manages to take this second game. Standpoint, right on the, <laughs> just as I say that, yeah, she wasn't going the wrong way. I think that's just a bit of a frustration. Hand out 10 all, a player must win by two yeah, points. Didn't go the wrong way, so tie break 10 all. Oh, 
Well, 20 minute mark. Oh. oh. In this game. And out. Bit of an ambitious shot. Big point. 11 10. Not bending game her knees. Ball. She's certainly fired up, Nayla Killis. See the competitive spirit in up. Forehand drop again. Great combo. Yeah, Hits that forehand drop and, and follows up knowing that Hillis is 11, probably going to lift out of trouble as she normally does, but she just missed that lob. Normally she gets it all the way through. Back. Tied game. Except the interference. Yes, well explained. Yes. I think had she called earlier, there we did see the physical bump, no, but 11, she did choose to go ball. through. So another game ball for the Belgian. Well, she's got Josh Reward there. Terrific back end of that second game from Naila Killis. 11 game to Gillis. Really is battling. One game all. Another very high quality matchup. 23 minutes. That's a staggering time time frame. 13-11 tie break. And it's the number 11 seed that's leveled up at one game apiece here after 40 minutes.